Hi guys, wish you a very very good morning. This is me, Ish Joshi, and you are watching me on the channel of Achieve Yes. Here, so here it is, 24th of August, 2020, and we are going to take today's the Hindu news analysis. Okay, so the first news is based on COVID-19, with three million cases. COVID-19 is likely to abate soon, experts said. Only a vaccine can prevent the infection and help bring out herd immunity. You know very well that the cases, uh, the death cases are continuously trolling up. The continuously infection cases are going out. So somewhere we can say the cases are on peak. I mean, it is on uh, three million cases is not a very small data. Okay, India crossed three million cases on Sunday after adding nearly sixty-nine thousand two hundred thirty-nine cases of death. Okay. So we can say that continuously India is going upwards towards all these things, and even finally there will be a time when we will, uh, we will, uh, you know, drop behind. We can say we will be on top in the country. Okay, so for that we have to prevent ourselves from all these activities that are getting us in infected areas, and also. Uh, only uh, expert says that only a vaccine can prevent infections and help bring out herd immunity. Somewhere the spread uh, is continuously uh, going up. The death cases are continuously going up. The mistakes. What is the what is the basic mistake in strategies? We are continuously making strategies. India is continuously making strategies. But what is the basic thing that is affecting the uh, country or the infection is continu continuously going up? The main point where we are lacking is basically strategy. The strategy we are following somewhere we have some mistakes in it. Okay, so some uh, of us knows that how can we can how we can get out of this particular situation, and they also know that what will be the consequences of it. So you have to uh, mention in comment section what are your ideas because you are going to be a future uh, IAS officer. So somewhere I am expecting that you will be going to give me the ideas to making strategies. We are going to post it and we are going to mail it to government. And definitely we will get the conclusion for it or I can say the solution for it okay so uh, it is India on Saturday reported having tested a million samples the first time it surpassed the milestone it has been conducting an average 8 lakh 89,935 tests in the few last few days okay uh, so tests are continuously going on cases are continuously going out and uh, somewhere the death cases are also going up so all the graphs are going up only nothing is going downwards so we have to uh, do the efforts to get it downwards okay and according to the expert if it will be the same condition as it is going on we are going to top the world and definitely india will be the most affected country from or i can say with uh, covid 19 okay so for this you have to write in comment section what you think about covid 19 and what are the main strategies we can follow and what will be the main consequences after this tra tragedy okay and what are the mistakes the government is uh, doing or making in a present scenario okay the next news is women uninterrupted yeah what it is access to uh, contracts uh, contraception and abortion services must be continuous among the more serious ramification of the pandemic has been the rather extensive even if unintended disruption of health care services somewhere uh, we are lacking in health care services and it is a disruption of it so the more serious ramification of the pandemic has been the rather extensive and uh, normally life has been crippled by the restrictions flowing from cent control measures and uh, access the to medical services has become infinitely uh, tougher for a vast for a vast uh, majority the scale of the impact on women's life is only now being recognized as global reports of inability to access contraception 
or contraceptive and abortion services during the long lockdown were of dire consequences including unwanted pregnancies increase in domestic violence and maternity uh, maternal mortality so somewhere these are the basic issues that are getting up uh, because of covid-19 and lockdown lockdown raised the uh, domestic violence the pregnancies and unwanted pregnancies and uh, you know, maternal mortality so all these things are continuously going on and the graph of these uh, things are going upwards be- only because of covid-19 and lockdown a recent estimate by mary stops international that is msi said that about 2 million women missed out on services between jan to june 1.3 million were in india alone and according to who a recent survey of response from 103 countries found that 67% reported disruption in family planning and contraception services unfpa projections indicate that 47 million women in 114 low and middle income countries would be unable to use modern contraceptives if the average lockdown continued for 6 months with major disruption of services so here it is the basic thing that the products we are using uh, or the things we are using to control all these issues like domestic violence or pregnancies and unwanted pregnancies and maternal mortality so if we are going to Mm, we if we in routine we use all these things and maintaining our life so uh, in just 6 uh, months or 5 months we can say in this just lockdown period we can see that the cases are continuously going up because these uh, med- uh, these issues were not available and uh, the availability of things are only the um, women and the consequences okay so the lockdown continued for 6 months that's what that was the major disruption of services and an additional 7 million okay somewhere we are lacking uh, wait a minute so yeah here it is that unintentional pregnancies are going out at the res- heart of this issue is the bulk of healthcare services shifting to cater to covid-19 related emergencies and lockdown disruption india listed abortions as essential services under the lockdown so what is basically happening the uh, this conditions and circumstances wants that uh, the uh, adoption services should be continued because the thing is if we will not control the birth rate then we will definitely as we are suffering with covid-19 as highest cases if we will definitely suffer the um, population ratio at the peak of this world definitely uh, china is controlling him, uh, itself so uh, we also have to control ourselves because somewhere we are on second position after china till date but soon if the birth rate is going like this only then we will be on top in future uh, coming days okay and definitely we should uh, stop all these barriers to control the birth rate and we have to continue the barriers regarding this okay and uh, the all he- all is like uh, we have the emergency to control the birth rate at all and if it is not going to be controlled if the abortions are not going to be proceed then we will definitely be on top in, in regards to the population okay almost 30% of the respondents respondents seeking an abortion said that the clinic in their area was closed and according to the msi report further a study in six states of the foundation for reproductive health services india showed a severe shortage of medical abortion drugs in pharmacies for a country setting out of the bolster its contraps contraception and abortion services outreach this pandemic and its lockdown have dealt the blow and the need of contraception services remains high in india so somewhere we need to uh, get abortion services we need to continue the abortion services because the thing is the only thing that this particular article carries that the uh, lockdown created the unemployment as well as women domestic violence as well as pregnancies unwanted pregnancies 
and maternal mortality all these issues from by all these issues we are going to create a negative atmosphere in our country because somewhere if the cases of domestic violence will grow up then definitely it will be a worst level of country because the, somewhere the uh, domestic cases domestic violence cases will be rise up and accordingly the situations of divorce the uh, cases of divorce will going up and uh, this is not a good indicator of a developed country okay or developing country so somewhere we need to work on it and the, another thing that is the most important which is the main center of this article this is the unwanted uh, pregnancies if the unwanted pregnancies are going on we need to go through the abortion services because abortion services are needed here in india already the medical equipments or medical services which are connected to the adoption services are not going on and the first other uh, related activities are also not going on but for these activities we need to conduct the abortion services by uh, by stopping the birth rate or to control the birth rate we have to continue it because somewhere the um, higher birth rate will create a higher population of india in world level okay so somewhere we need to work on it and um, one in three reporting a need for contraceptive advices women every one of three well it means 35% women are cre creating or uh, they are reported to need a contraceptive advice as per the msi report so somewhere the services must be continue through the measures such as telemedicals okay telemedicines and incentives to local clinics to open their doors the clinics are also closed that we have already discussed that cl the clinics the women are creating the conditions or women are uh, reporting that the situation is like the uh, nearby medical stores and nearby uh, i can say clinics are already closed how we will go through the services so somewhere uh, we have to control to control all these issues we need to continue the uh, clinical services we need to go through the telemedical services we have to uh, we have to answer or to create uh, 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 i can say uh, results between the uh, adoption and the cure and uh, this will definitely be the best way to create or to control the birth rate okay so somewhere it is good for us for our country and the women of our country desperately need this particular thing even i can say they are desperate to use the uh, protection services and they are desperate to continue their job services and other things okay the next news is failing on fire sri shailam power plant accident underscores the importance of fire safety code a fire in the hydro electric station located close to unlimited quantities of water would seem to be a contradiction but as a deadly breeze in the sri lanka sri shailam a uh, power plant shows the risk is very real nine people including five engineers we have already discussed about it, that were power plant was get fired and uh, nine people got injured and uh, another people were rescued so somewhere it is not a good thing or good issue to go for basically see what is happening we just uh, uh, before uh, one and a half month or two month i can say visa visa right and uh, we uh, learned or we can i can say that we have heard about it we had read about it we had discussed about the andhra pradesh's uh, visa um, that uh, i can say yeah sterling yeah right so somewhere uh, the gas leakage plant uh, the gas leakage was there the everything was like uh, you know uh, so much affected the area was too much affected to control all those things the security measures were also issued but that time it was too late now the another tragedy in power plant so we can say that somewhere the lack of uh, i can say skilled laborers the lack of uh, security measures the lack of things is going on the situation the pandemic situation the pandemic time con continuously 
creating uh, adverse effects on our society in our country i can say and somewhere we have to be alert about it the situation is like we have to government have to reconstruct the strategy of appointing labors and to create the skilled labors to create the particular labor which can be work in particular sector where he or she is skilled accordingly and the thing is government should control the power plants and they should go through the security measures as much as possible they have to prepare a guideline they have to prepare a content to issue for the power plants or plants i can say industrial manufacturing industry so that these plants can go through the security measures only they couldn't uh, make any type of irresponsible behavior or irresponsible uh, quantity of workers okay so we need to go for it we are continuously going out we are continuously you know, this particular uh, incident that is uh, happened in sri shailam is something very 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 important to take measures of it we it is just very very important to fire safety codes the fire in a power plant is somewhere it is quite um, you know disturbing and the industries and power plants in andhra pradesh tamil nadu telangana have been wrecked by accidents during the lockdown period or covid-19 pandemic i told you i we just uh, discussed about it that visag and then we saw the kerala's uh, landslide areas and landslip areas and then the new news here by shri shailam somewhere we can say the plants the industrial the manufacturing industries in southern areas are continuously going down the reason behind this the continuously getting or catching the uh, incidents is the what are the basic reason behind this the only reason is they are not that much aware they could be or they should be they are not that much aware about this but we have to work on it we have to get create a uh, i can say a situation where we can control the situation we can government authority should pass the new laws for the labor policies the new laws for the um plant policies manufacturing industries policies they should continue for some um they should continues for some issues the government should continue a uh, situation where the plants can't use anything that is restricted in government policies and they have to follow the uh, important guidelines that are created by security measure according to security measures by the government of india okay so they should go uh, go for it and they should uh, regulate the policy for this the next article is based on thinking through the nepal policy india should reject the nepalese state ill convinced sorry ill conceived territorial claims but do all to nurture the nepalese people's goodwill nepalese people's goodwill is more important to get nurtured and this is the issue or this is the the responsibility of india to reject the nepalese all these territorial claims that is going on from last few months but somewhere the to nurture the nepali people's goodwill is somewhere our responsibility because they are just you know the kp sharma oli basically oli somewhere uh, trying to control his own area he is just trying to make his uh, own territory he is, is just trying to make his own policies but somewhere the people of nepal is uh, goodwill is containing goodwill they are containing their goodwill and we are responsible to maintain the goodwill of those peoples so somewhere we have to create a good relation with nepalese public or people and citizens but somewhere the government with the relation of government we can say that we have to create some policies we have to create some strategies and we should not continue with the territorial claims which should not accept the territorial claims of nepal and they should we should reject the ill conceived on uh, nepali territorial claims okay so it is all about it what uh, in this particular article article you will get it that what are the unilateral action we should take and what are the geographical and boundaries area disputes and the, what are the history and ties of it all these things are containing is in this particular section in this particular article okay so india should reject all those ill conceived 
territorial claims but we should nurture the nepali people's goodwill and for that we have to go through some consequences we have to go through some um, particular situations where we can work for government and the nepali peoples okay so uh, this is all about this particular army that uh, sorry is particular article and we should go through the nepal policy okay we have to think through the nepal policy the next is more evidence of people india's food insecurity food insecurity the major issue of lockdown covid-19 sofi report and lockdown distress have renewed focus on what is also the world's largest food insecure population india is world's largest food insecure population we are continuously facing uh, facing the food issues by this lockdown the people uh, i can say the migrants the um, people living in some village area or some area even the urban area people also got so if some so many issues regarding food insecure food security and they faced a lot of issues regarding the food issues okay so somewhere uh, india is the major uh, food insecure country i can say the world's largest food insecure population is living here and this article is basically carrying the authoritative indicators country data and the causes of suffering data from the latest edition of the state of food security and nutrition in the world sofi food security and nutrition in the world this is the point that can be come in your prelims exam sofi what is the full form of it state of food security and nutrition in the world okay now what it do it create the data of food insecurity in countries so by this report the report shows that india retains the dubious uh, distinctions of being the country with the largest population of food insecure people estimates represented in the report which was released by the several united nations organizations shows that the prevalence of food insecurity increased by 3.8 percent points in india between 2014 to 19 the first term of the narendra modi government by 2019 okay 6.2 crore more people were living with food insecurity than the number of 2014 somewhere we can say that uh, india is suffering a lot of issues regarding food insecurity and india is the most or world's largest food insecure population is living here the food, largest food insecure country is here so we need to work on it what are the authoritative indicators what is the country's data and what are the basic causes of suffering of for it all these things are carrying in this particular article okay if you want to go through it you just have to uh, even you know not about want you have to go through it because the things that this article is carrying is very important for your mains examination perspective if you are going to take the uh, food insecurity if there will be the issue regarding food insecurity because in this pandemic time in this lockdown time the major issue was food insecurity if we are suffering with this issue if this is the basic issue regarding covid-19 and the country's basic issue is this then we definitely have to work on it and india should go through the um, causes of suffering and they we should know the why we are suffering with food insecurity what are the basic causes how we can overcome it and how we can create a new atmosphere in the area of food insecurity okay so it is all about it we have discussed everything about today's newspaper if you really like the video it is uh, today's analysis is totally based on english um, you know english explanation and uh, if you bear uh, there were so many queries regarding the english explanation and that's why we take or i took the um, english explanation and i uh, tried to go through the english material because somewhere the majority of uh, issues majority of our students are getting raised they are uh, raising their voice regarding uh, the english explanation or english analysis so uh, today i tried to get it in english and um, 
i try to make possible that uh, the english medium students or i can say the per persons from um english background can easily understand the particular uh, this particular editorial and definitely i hope you all are getting getting it and uh, hope everything is fine with you if you will get any issue if you will get anything like you are not getting it you want the explanation in hindi or you want it in bilingual then you will definitely go through it at every individual day i am taking the analysis in bilingual process but somewhere i was getting the queries continuously and continuously from last few months that we want analysis in english that's why i try to take it in english today and if it will be convenient for you if it will be okay for you then definitely text me uh, or i can say uh, just give me a comment in comment section and if you will get it that you know you are not satisfied with it you want bilingual or hindi then definitely let me um go through the comment section and definitely i will get your comment hope i am hoping this so just give your comment valuable precious comment your views what i can do or what we can do for it and definitely because two different articles or two different videos for us are not possible so somewhere uh, we need your suggestion that we what will we will do and what can we do regarding this uh, we will create it in both the aspect or we should take it in bilingual process whatever we can take you can just easily you just give me a comment i will go through it okay thanks for watching bye bye take care have a great time ahead